Yo, what is up guys and welcome to something different. Something other than Rocket League. Because uh, this channel will be, be posting a lot of Rocket League, like almost every day. But uh, I don't want to keep it at Rocket League. I want to do multiple games, a lot of games, a lot of different games, a lot of story games. Uh, you name it, I'll do it. Uh, so, yeah, welcome to The Stanley Parable. I haven't even played the game. Uh, I'm playing this for the first time together with you guys. So, uh, let's see what this game is all about. And, uh, yeah, the the beginning is a little bit funky. Look, if you, if you watch the monitor screen, everything is the same. I'm looking at myself. Look at that. Sweet. Cool. All right, so let's begin the game. Never the never the end is never the end is never the end is never. Alright. Alright, loading. I have this game for like a couple of days now and uh, I wanted to play it like really bad just to see what it is. But uh Yeah, couldn't be more excited. Yeah. So how was your day going? Comment down below how your day went. Just want to see the reactions. If someone types in a comment, if someone bothers, would be cool though. Yeah. So, so the game has almost loaded. So that's good. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Cool. Story time, guys. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two or seven. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And Easiest the job in the world. Have considered it so winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy, all right. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh no! no. One showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Why am I spinning? Why am I spinning? Okay. Stop spinning! I think the game is broken, guys. Already. <laughs> Don't tell me we have to begin the game again. No! What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, you have, just have to press F6 and then uh, the game will save and it stops you from spinning. So yeah. Thank you, Google. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue with the game. So we got our mug, our pencil sharpener. And the computer. Alright. Can we do something over here? Phone? Chair? Nothing? Okie dokie. Yeah, 
Hello? Hello, anyone here? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Well, I'm looking. In here? Nope. That is a nice painting. Well. Okay. Nothing. Maybe this one? No. Alright. We'll just uh, continue walking then. When he came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Left? But what if I want to go right? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That's a good idea. Panic. What a mess. You people should all get fired. Okay. A little creeped out now, but... Truly yeah. worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking it all in? What is this game? Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating, that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. You grumpy old guy. Is it really narrating this room, everything? Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow. You know what? Shut up. Shut up, you grumpy old bastard. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when All right, okay, okay, okay. There was no more. He I'm going. The, but at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. Yes. He took the first open door on his left to get back to business. See ya. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. All right. Can I go back then? Nope, I can't go back. This is a big company, huh? Okay, so... Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Well, you don't say! Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, one thousand dollars. <laughs> for jumping, five thousand. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Let's have a quick look if I can go through here. Nope. Okay. Oh, well, we'll have to go with the cargo lift then. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I think so too, grumpy old bastard. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. 
There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Oh. Someone you've forgotten about. Well, you don't say. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Who? Who is she? She is who? Who is she? She who? Uh. Anybody got a torch? Or a light? Fire? I'm gonna just gonna. I'm just gonna go in backwards. Well, that startled me. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about... Your day on <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Jesus Christ. All right. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Death? What do you mean death? I'm still alive. What? What? Hello? What do you mean death? What am I supposed to do over here? Hello? Door? Hello? Miss? Miss? Can you help me? I'm, I seem to be a little bit stuck in here, waiting for my death. What am I supposed to do? I don't want to die in here, man. I'm too young to die. Oh my god. Good morning, Emily. Press 8 on your keyboard. 8. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. What? Every button, huh? Okay, really, really getting annoyed right now. I'm just gonna... What? Press C? C. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Okay. He 
you see every time that I press escape the camera starts spinning so I have to press F6 to keep stop it from spinning every time so a little bit annoying but in his mind ah in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures from behind his desk Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown fantastic discoveries of new lands it was wonderful and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Well, ain't that sad? Ah, oh, come on. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. All right. Well, I guess Stanley is a little bit of cuckoo. C, again, C, C. Zero, nine, eight. Press three to spend time with the boys. So oh my God. he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Okay. Do I have to press every single button? As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh my god, you guys. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Played one more time, get me out of this freaking office slash kitchen and bedroom thing. One more time. But there is no answer. What? what could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. All right. Can I do something over here? Get me out of this room, mate. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Do not do it. All right. Which screen? I'm just gonna do nothing. Press eight. I'm not gonna press eight. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. He's just gonna wait till I press number eight. I know it. He's just gonna wait. That grumpy old boss is. Bastard is just gonna wait till I press 
the number 8 on this keyboard. Well, no. Not today. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm not gonna do it. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna press the button. There we go. You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Really? Really, bro? You just waited till I pressed the button on my keyboard. Okay? Your fault. Not mine. Let's continue the game. So please do not be grumpy, old bastard. And let me out of this office. Jesus freaking Christ. Or, I suppose or. I can't. Not in the way I want him to. What? I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. Well, not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again, and Stanley pushed a button. And I the hell is going on? The end is loading. F6. Oh my god. Are we back in the freaking start? You gotta be kidding me, right? Yeah, this is the freaking start. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, okay. When Stanley came to a set I take of a left. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, you got me. I'm gonna walk through the left door. And then what? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Broom closet. Uh... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs, okay. I'm just gonna play along. Oh my god, look at this. Woo! My man is rich over here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again my stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, oh no. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Yeah. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two eight oh here it is. Two eight four five. Two forgot but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well whoop de do. Whoop de doo. Whoop -de -doo. Are you sure about this, old man? Cause it's getting a little creepy over here. Okay, we have an elevator. He's not saying anything. Oh, 
Okay. Loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Guys, this is it. Illuminati confirmed. Mind Control Facility, here we go. Escape. Escape. That seems like a big ass hallway. No, my control facility. Illuminati, here I come. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Yes. He had the strength to find out. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Sweet baby Jesus. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Freedom. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Fire. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? 601 is fired. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's oh. control? Never. It was unthinkable. Never. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? No, old man. No. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. That's for right. he would dismantle the controls once and for all. For all and once. Oh. Yeah, uh, we found it. Five? What do you mean five? Where's four, three, two, and one? All right. Okay. 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 Three. Sure looks cool though. All right. One. Uh. One. Wait. Different noises every time. What is going on? Okay. So, what? Okay. Mind controls idle awaiting input. 
maybe we'll have to go over there, guys. And gals. Not being racist. Ah, system power. And there we have it. He found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Yes. Or not. Yes. Or not. If I, if I click on on, will it reset me again? Get me back to the start again? Let's find out. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved uh, no. for years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? No. Control? No. Off, 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 oh, off. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. I if just misclicked. My story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In what? the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, Two minutes. Making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. What? Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Oh, 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 oh. The bomb goes off. But what, what? precious moments each one of them is. Run, more Randy. time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A no. Of solace before you I want to get the heck out of here. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then die Two. alone. What? Two? Other times, I let the office what sink into the ground, swallowing everyone Two. inside, Two. 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 I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite I pressed the two and everything. To see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up Three? with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? What? No. No. Additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. You don't say. Oh, Three. Stanley, what's the matter, Stanley? One, two. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what? Four is, is on the right top. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running no. from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something Let's go, dude. save me. Why would you think that? Blue. Save me? That this video game can be beaten? One soul? Do you have any uh. idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> <sighs> You're in for quite a disappointment, but here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action no! long. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. I don't want to restart all the way to the beginning. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control Yellow, world, yellow. Fine. Yellow. But I'm going to destroy it first. Goodbye, so Emily. Take a look ah. at that. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. 
You know what? Kill me. 16 seconds. Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, part I the joke. every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Did it really reset me? No way. No way. Mm -mm. If this game resets me and pushes me back to the start, I'm gonna end. Oh my god. Well, this was uh, Stanley Parable. And uh, yeah. Interesting game. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Well, see you next time. Tomorrow, I will be playing this one again and see if we can finish it. But for now, screw it. Alright. So, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and comment down below of what you think. And uh, yeah, if you have any other games that you want me to play, just put it in the comments and I, I'll probably will be playing them. So, uh, yeah. See you next time. Peace.